Right. So we know that the 945E tunes 2000 ohms, no problem. Uh, we set that to times 10. And let's just uh, give it a ridiculous load and see if it can do anything with it. I know this is not giving it sort of complex, um, you know, inductive reactants or capacitive reactants loads to look at, but by giving it a resistive load, you know, it's we're getting an indication of what it's capable of doing. So well, I'm quite happy with that. But um, you know, it's going to it's going to be fine. Just zero the uh, zero the meter again. If you're under 50, you're probably not going to have a clue what I'm talking about. But um, you use the uh, the little uh, the little the little wheel there just to just to zero the needle on uh, on zero ohms when you set these things up. So if I go, oh, my blooming uh, adapters fall into bits. rather disappointing but uh, never mind cheap and cheerful bits and pieces from jcar right now what was i saying uh, yeah that will hold itself together once it's screwed in that pin will go back in there that's no problem right now i'll go on there and i go on there we're going from inner to outer on the uh, pl259 And crocodile clips would be really useful here, but I don't have any. So if I can hold that like that and like that, without it touching the, the case. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's do it slightly easier way. Take that off of there. Oh, crack, that's stiff. Or is that in there? That's, that's probably in there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Hmm, that's still not going to be terribly easy to do that, is it? Uh, okay, I'll give it a crack anyway. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to set and set the impedance. Set it to. No, let's get it high value. Maybe it'd be easier to do it here. Yeah, it'd be easier to do it there. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll set it to. Times ten, so set it to five hundred. There we go. So that's now five thousand ohms. Okay. We're gonna. So that tuner is now going to see five thousand ohms across the output. I think what, what I'll do this time is I'll show you the action. <coughs> I'll show you the action on the tuner rather than on the on the uh, analyzer. Let's check the view. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I'll still ah, still do the uh, analyzer. I bought this orange cloth earlier on from the local textile traders place to so you could easily see everything. It's making stuff slide around because it's, it's 
the wooden tail. Okay, well let's put it back on there. And okay, so with the minimum inductance and the capacitors uh, both on in their central positions. There you go, capacitors on their central positions, minimum inductance back onto the uh, analyzer. We can see bottom left SWR 5.2 and the impedance is 195 ohms. Okay, so I'm going to now adjust the inductance. So I'm bringing some inductance in. Ah, wait a minute. I haven't changed the, um, uh, put, I'll put the inductance back to minimum. I forgot to change the center frequency. I need to change that. There we go. To 7093, right. This is, this is why I'm sort of primarily interested. We'll try on 14 megs in a minute. Bring in the inductance, more inductance, more inductance, more inductance. Starts looking a bit good there. No, okay, so it's that one. So I've rotated the inductance and I've brought inductance in from the minimum to the point where the SWR took a nice dip. If I continue putting the inductance in, you see the SWR go up. I'll just do that again. So I'll go to the next setting. You see it's gone up. That was the setting that looks the sweetest. If I go back, there you go. So that setting there is the inductance it, it, uh, it, it likes. We're looking at um, 6.3 SWR and an impedance of 304 ohms on the transmitter port. Remember we've got 5,000 ohms across the uh, antenna port. I'm just going to adjust the transmitter control. And straight away you can see that it's coming down very nicely indeed. Look at that, 3.5, 3.1. And I'm adding capacitance as well, so it's making the throughput more efficient. Nice and happy. Oop, go back a bit. 3.2, 13 ohms. We can just uh, adjust the load capacitance there. Uh, we can get that down a little more. There we go. Down it comes. And you'll see the SWR coming down again as the impedance goes up. It starts looking a lot more favourable. And just give the that was with the antenna tuning capacitor. I've just gone back to the transmitter tuning capacitor. And uh, yeah, so where are we? I thought I saw 1.9, but 2 looks like, yeah, there you go, 1.9 is about as low as it's going to go. So I'll go back to the antenna capacitor, bringing that impedance back up again. And as you see, that's coming up, the SWRs going down. I was at least thinking about it. It's now 1.7 at 46 ohms. And uh, I can, oops, yeah. That looks to be about it on the, uh, just adjusting the tr transmitter capacitor again. 1.6, 28 ohms, so adjust the antenna capacitor again to bring that up. Up she comes. There you go. You can see that nice SWR curve coming down, the white curve on the graph. 47, 50 ohms, there we go. And again, finger on the knob has a slight effect, but... Uh, Less said about that, the better, probably. Um, <laughs> 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1. There we go, 1.2, did I see there? Come on, you can do it. That's on the transmitter tune, then back to the antenna tune. That's 50 ohms. And then back to the transmitter tune. 1.4, 1.3, 1.2. 0.4, so back slightly, a bit more antenna tune, 1.1, you can see SWR, the impedance comes up, there you go, make it a little more, yeah, I'll make it a little more than 50 ohms, because I'll take my hand off and it'll go back down again, there you go, 50 ohms, That's SWR of 1, Add more on the antenna tune there. There you go. So as you can see, 
um, just presented a 5000 ohm load to this little tuner and uh, it's had very 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 difficulty very little difficulty uh, presenting you know um, uh, a 50 ohm impedance at the transmitter port SWR of one so again any uh, any portable radio is going to be very happy to be uh, to be connected to that load it's done an excellent uh, excellent job of um, uh, matching the impedance between 50 ohms and 5000 ohms I suppose there's just one other um, one other thing I could try and that's the low end so I think I'll just try setting that thing to um, 20 ohms and see how it looks I'll just show you the settings on the tuner now that's the settings on the tuner to provide that match okay so for the 5000 ohm load 5000 ohms is probably unrealistically high but it was just a bit of an experiment just to see how how it's going to look again don't expect to see anything on the needles because the amount of energy coming out of the uh, the antenna analyzer is so low that um, it's not going to not going to show anything um, so uh, I'd say that's quite good that's uh, well actually it's better than quite good I'd say that's that's really quite impressive um, that's uh, really quite good um, uh, really very good rather um, so that looks uh, that's quite nice okay so what we'll do then is uh, I'll stop the camera and we'll go on to uh, part four or five I can't remember which thanks for watching